Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. It's me, Crashy, again, and today we're going to be talking about the new Lucio. So as you all know, new Lucio is live. We'll be showing you the patch notes there. Again, if you haven't checked it out, it's definitely something to check out. And I, I went on the forums today, and one thing that I saw was a very... It just seems like a, a large confusion around what this new Lucio is. Is it a buff? Is it a nerf? Uh, I want to let you guys know what I think. So... This is going to be a, a fairly short video because it really is just coming down to my opinion. You guys can go play Lucio, uh, you know, read the patch notes, check it out. Everybody knows the big the big thing is 30 meters down to 10 meters. You have his range, so it's a, it's a little better. I like that. I like that you can see his range. It's, it's helpful, especially with this short range Lucio. And the one thing I will say about Lucio now, the one thing I feel like I'm going to miss is the crazy wall running everywhere. I feel like you just simply don't need to do that anymore. Now, it's still great for evasion. It's still great to keep yourself alive and, and position properly. But with that said, that is what you have to do. So, in my personal opinion, I think that this may be one of the best versions of Lucio that we've seen. I feel like he's definitely still a must pick, unfortunately, and that's kind of the weird thing. I don't know that's this necessarily. I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing. I do feel like he is definitely still a a must pick for the team. His ultimate is is insane. His ability to actually heal multiple targets now is insane. He's still he just is a walking speed boost for the team, and that's absolutely nuts. You want to have something like that for initiation for you know um, backing out of situations. So he's still definitely a must pick. But the, the scenario has changed, the situation has changed, and now the, the Lucio player needs to know where to position and when to be aggressive and when to back up. That's the biggest part, when to back up. You have to follow your tanks in, you're going to want to dive in with your Genji, you're going to want to go forward with your Tracer and your Winston and your D.Va, but you don't want to stay, you know, you do, and, and it's the same for any other person in that type of a role, but you have to really stay alive, I mean, you're the healer, so you need to be properly switching between healing, and you need to know what your boost needs to be used for. And I think that's going to be the hard thing with Lucio players now is that you it's just much more decision based. And I saw someone, I think it was on Twitter earlier today, said that this is like the Genji of support. And I do feel that way. It's, it's very decision based. You have to choose... Um, correctly, but he is insane. His, uh, you know, the vertical orientation on the boop, the ability to speed on wall riding, the, you know, increased healing, the increased speed. It's just, he's a very strong version of Lucio. So my thoughts, guys, I think overall a solid Lucio player is going to really play to the strengths of this new Lucio, but that comes with learning how to position properly, learning, no, you know, winning, when to go in, when to back out, what to use your boost on. But it's not just Lucio that has to adjust. It has to be the other players that are looking for that range indicator, other players that are paying attention to where the Lucio is and not just expecting to get passively healed while they're climbing up a wall or, uh, you know, blinking on the back line. So that said, I think this is a buff to Lucio. Um, I think it's just a, you know, a different version of the character. I think it's something that is going to work really well, especially in, uh, you know, various dive comps. And I'm excited to keep playing it. And thanks again for checking out the video, and I guess I'll see you guys for the next one.